TV3 New Day. Let's head straight to the Shanti region because TV3 can report that the 2013 delegates album of the New Patriotic Party, which was uh, updated in 2018, will be used in the Kwadaso constituency primaries this weekend. Our man Evans Inkum has more. Let's go there now. Pandan constituency that is yet, I mean, that is having the primary at the moment because there were issues with the uh, constituency album. Now, Etona, let me just run you through. I mean, let me just give you a bit of history as far as this particular particular constituency is concerned. So Kwadaso constituency was carved out of the Bantama constituency and that was in 2004. I mean Kwadaso constituency of course the Inshayasu constituency. The first member of parliament Hilda Ado served for only uh, a term after which the current um, a Greek minister Dr. Ousef Friyakoto also um, took over from 2008 to 2016 when the uh, current member of parliament who is also contesting to retain I um, mean his seat Samuel uh, Nyama also taking over from uh, Dr. Ousu Efriye Akoto. This time around we have three aspirants as far as this particular constituency or primary is concerned. We're talking about uh, Vincent Frimpon Menu um, who is the deputy chief executive for the Middle Belt um, Authority. Then of course uh, Dr. Kinsley Nyakon and the incumbent uh, Samuel Nyama and 390 delegates now have the power to decide among the three gentlemen who has the world without to stand or to lead the MPP into the 2020 parliamentary election. Now, some rules have been set or guidelines have been set as far as this particular um, primary is concerned. Yesterday, we had that exclusive interview with the um, chairman of the party. By then, a letter has been sent to him from the chief scribe of the party, John Buedu. And these are the guidelines that they are going to observe or, I mean, these are the, the, the guideline that will serve as the basis for this particular primary. So, one, all 18 deceased delegates shall not be replaced. Two, 10 delegates who are out of the jurisdiction shall not be replaced. Three, all the 19 created polling stations shall not be filled with delegates. Four, all the 172 polling station executives whose names were omitted from the updated album shall be included from the delegate list. And let me also tell you that this, as far as this particular primary is concerned, they, they are using the 2013 album which was updated in 2018. Um, so that is by way of information. So um, I just want to believe that all the delegates are aligned because the issue of album has been a major setback as far as this particular primary is concerned. Very soon, I will be engaging the chairman of the constituency of the chairman of the party just to understand if all these measures have been I mean, put in place. And of course, the guidelines have also been made known to the 390 delegates who will be voting in 10 electoral areas, of course, which have been converted into polling stations. So, Chairman, I thank you so much for your time, your life on TV3. I'm sure all the delegates are well aligned as far as the guidelines which was put in a letter form to the regional chairman is concerned. Of course, exactly so. Mm. Um, this particular process was delayed because of issues with the album. Can you just briefly let us know what really caused that? Um, we were told two albums crashed at the headquarters and they refers it back to us to sort it out and see what happened. And after a careful study of the two albums, we found that there were some missions and omissions on which we the committee headed by the general secretary, the second national affairs vice, then the, consul, the regional chairman, myself, the constituent chairman, and the executive, plus chairman of council of elders, and the women's wing sat to sort it out. So with the three aspirants, we all agreed, and then we, we, we expunged some people, and then we got this 
390. Mm, I'm aware. So just want to believe that after this process, there is not going to be any form of litigation as no. far as this particular is concerned. Now, I also understand that you decided to explore alternative dispute resolution just to ensure that this process commences. Um, ca can you tell us that all the aggrieved parties are now reasoning with national executive, and for that matter, the regional executive, to ensure that you have a very successful primary? As I've said, the three contestants were there with general secretary, the second vice, the regional chairman, the executive, and then we resolved this. So we amicably agreed before coming out with this album. Mm. So everybody is aware that this is the album we are going to use. Mm. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Chairman. So let me get closer to one particular person who also sat on that committee um, that ensured that the album is worked on um, um, and so to also ensure that the fielding parties who at least will come to a consensus. But before that, let me just run you through what you are supposed to hear or see when you come to this particular uh, polling station. So when you come, you have to go through the safety protocols. You have to wash your um, hands. I mean, um, this um, um, technology has been provided. Um, so solar wash, say also um, you wash your hands, there's a tissue for you to just wipe your moisturized hands, wash hands. Of course, um, there's also um, a, a liquid soap to also ensure that the process is, um, uh, uh, I mean, done well. Uh, then from there, you go through the stages of the voting process. One, your name will have to be verified. Your name will have to be verified on the, as far as the album is concerned. Then you move to the other table where the ballot paper will be given to you. And then you move to the booth to cast your vote. Let me speak to um, Kwakwa. Kwakwa was part of the, that committee that sat to ensure that um, the album, the, there's no issue with the album and all of that. So Kwakwa, well, let me just be sure if all these guidelines were set out as far as this current album that you're using is concerned. So all the 18 deceased delegates shall not be replaced. 10 delegates who are out of the jurisdiction shall not be replaced. All the 19 created polling stations shall not be filled with delegate, delegates. All the 172 polling stations executives whose names were omitted from the updated album shall be included from the delegate list. Is that the album you are using now? Thank you very much. I want to tell you that uh, most of the things that you read over there were complied with, except the last uh, guideline that you read. Some uh, 172 delegates who were expunged from the 2013 album were meant to have been included in the register that we are using today. Mm. Subsequently, those 172 who were expunged were replaced by another 172 mm. delegates. Mm. So in order to bring some form of neutrality, we were meant to bring on board those who were taken out and those who were added. But when the committee met again in the presence of the General Secretary, we still saw the need to vary the guidelines. And so all the 172 who were initially expunged were still taken out. The 172 who were supposed to have been uh, brought on board were also taken out. So all in all, you see that those who were dead were not replaced, and those who traveled were not replaced, one defected person not replaced. And all those people who were also uh, having some forms of contentions were also uh, taken out in order to bring sanity. Uh, this was done in agreement with all the stakeholders, especially the aspirants. The candidates themselves have come to the resolve that the NPP has traveled long. Mm. We have barely five months to an election, and there was no need for us to stretch ourselves mm. uh, with this internal affair. Mm. And so what we are doing here today is just an agreed kind of uh, album that we have. Mm. Everybody came to the understanding that, yes, we could work with this. Mm. And so I believe, by and large, the guidelines that came from Accra has been modified in order to meet uh, what is on the ground for us to exist uh, peacefully. Okay. So, um, Kwaka, we wish you the very best as Thank far as this particular process is concerned. So, um, I think it, it has been a very smooth exercise for now. Security, very apt. We've seen and the police, military frequenting um, this particular uh, polling station. Um, you have, I think you can even see um, some um, from far end over there. Um, I've told you that we have 10 
polling stations or electoral areas that are um, going through this particular process with 390 delegates who will be voting among three aspirants, including the incumbent, Sami Uniyama. Of course, I've also mentioned that we have in the race uh, Vincent Frimpon Menu, the uh, Deputy Chief Executive for Middle Belt Authority, and also uh, Dr. Kinsley Nyakon. So uh, we're still monitoring closely and we'll be bringing you more updates as they unfold as far as the Quadraso primary is concerned. William Evans, Income TV3 News, Quadraso constituency. Back to you, studios. Thank you, William Evans Income. So 390 delegates to vote to decide the fate of three aspirants in 10 electoral areas. TV3 is where to be because we'll give you uh, updates on exactly what is happening with the Quadraso primaries. And